say, and you've said this before, that erectile dysfunction is one of the earliest signs of heart disease. What do you mean by that? Problems with erections is like the check engine light uh, sign going off where if the penis is failing, you should assume you're gonna have problems with your heart soon until proven otherwise. Let me explain that. So we talked about earlier how blood flow into the penis is essential to get a good erection. The blood vessels going to the penis are one to two millimeters, the main ones. And the blood vessels in the heart are three to four millimeters, the blood vessels in the carotids, seven to eight millimeters. So as atherosclerosis happens, this kind of endothelial plaque, that the crud that grows inside the vessels as we age, and if we don't take care of ourselves especially, uh, you get that narrowing of those vessels. And as those uh, vessels narrow, the smaller vessels will have danger signs first, right? So if you have atherosclerotic disease, uh, according to many, many studies, has been repeated several times, first problems with erections happen. And then if you don't do anything and the disease progresses, the first heart attack typically occurs three to five years later. And then the first stroke a couple years after that. And then finally, people have pain with walking or something called claudication because you start to get narrowing of the femoral vessels, which are gigantic. But even those can manifest with pain and problems with blood flow as they narrow down. So because this narrowing typically follows this pathway, if you have problems with erections, it can predict heart, heart attacks very reliably. And so the number one kind of risk factor in young men and even older men to predict heart disease that don't, doesn't have any other warning signs is the penis. And the beauty of this is that anything that is good for the ticker, the heart, is good for the penis and vice versa, right? So if you want to have better erections, exercise, lose weight, uh, eat right, get good sleep, mitigate stress, that will have positive effects on the erections as powerfully as many pills do if not better. And at the same time, you're going to be on the right side of the grass longer because you're much less likely to have a heart attack.